Today we're haunting my window. Come on in, welcome to my home. Today is a project that I hadn't really planned on doing. I just did it spontaneously, and suddenly people wanted to know how I did this, so I decided I would rush a video and show you how you can actually make a haunted window that's slightly different from the other haunted windows that you've seen. Yes, you can go out and buy kits that will then show you how you can haunt your window using a projector, and then your window, and they have screens and all sorts of images, but I want it to do something different. In fact, I wanted mine to look a little bit different because all of the ones that I've seen, the room has been black, and then the haunted image shows up on the screen. I mean, it's a pretty simple thing. It's just a piece of screen over across your window and you're projecting onto it. But me? You know I had to be different about this. So let's get started with this. It's a really easy project as long as you have some video software that can do green screen. Now if you're wondering about all the items that I use to you do this project, they are listed down below in my Amazon affiliate links in the description and you can check those out. I mean it's really simple. First step is you want to do a green screen recording of whatever item you're going to use. I used my Angel of death that you're going to see next week uh, in one of the videos for the house. And all it is is just an angel which looks sort of scary with uh, just, you know, cloth around it. And I put her on the green screen. Now the thing to remember about the green screen is it needs to be recorded really, really well. As in, the green screen itself needs to be lit and then also the item needs to be lit. There's a lot going on in here. As I spin around in my garage, you can see that there are lots and lots of lights to get enough light to make our wonderful little ghost appear and disappear. You want it to be as even as you possibly can have it on the green screen. That will make your recording of the things a lot easier. Then you just record. It's that simple. I tried to do some blowing around of things, but I didn't really have a fan or anything on me. And since this wasn't going to have audio, that part really didn't matter. But I just recorded it. That simple. There are a couple things I would do differently, and what I will do differently next year is I would have I would actually move the item in and out, so I'd move my angel in and out, so that way I could use it in different ways, but I did it all. It, it works out really well. Once everything is recorded, then I took a picture of my room with all the lights on, and in fact, this picture was taken during the daytime. You're asking yourself, well, why are you doing this? Well, that's simple, so that when I combine it, it looks like the ghost is in a room which is actually lit up instead of just in a black room, which to me sort of looks sort of fake. Not that this doesn't look 100% fake, but hey, it looks a little bit better. All right, so let's go to the hard part, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. First thing that we are going to have to do is we're going to have to bring in our ghost image, which was recorded on the green screen. And that's fairly simple to do. I mean, there's nothing really all that big or anything. But now we're going to do the effects. And the effect that we're going to use is chroma key. Chroma key is just going to take the green and remove it. And we can, we can change how similar to that we want it. And it will do a blend. And right now you're going, well, that's sort of pretty cool. Yeah, sort of pretty cool. Threshold. Excellent. Cool. So there we have our ghost-like image. Now you're saying, well, that's not all that great, but, you know, it is something. So a ghost-like image is there. Now the fun part. I took a picture of my room, and this is the room as it is. Let's slide that over there. All right, I'm going to pull this down so that I can expand the picture of my room and make sure that it fills the frame and adjust it about right. Perfect. Now let's get that chroma key working in there. Let's do the effects. Uh, let's really, and this you're going to have to play around with it till you find just the right threshold, cut off, everything which you want. 
Just play around with it until it gets the effect that you want. The cool thing about this is when, as you're playing around with it is the fact that you can then decide how much you'd actually, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect because of the way that we're going to be displaying it. Now the opacity. Let's drop that down so that you can see through it a bit. And that will really help sell it. And now suddenly you have a ghost which is just there. Now you can do all sorts of things with this. Oh yeah, I forgot I have to take out the audio. Delete the audio. Now you can do all sorts of things with this ghost. And all the effects of the ghost moving in and out were just done with just effects. Once you're done and you have the video so it looks like how you want it, then you can have some fun. Here's the thing to remember. Inside the room, it's going to be completely dark. The picture that you took before is what's going to help sell the illusion that the lights are on. All I did was draw my curtains, put the projector on, and project the image reversed onto <laughs> the curtains. These are very thin curtains, so it would actually show through. And from the outside, it looks like my house is being haunted and my thin shears are actually pulled. That's what sells the illusion. Then I did things like fades and cuts and different transitions to give it that interesting flair to it. This is a super easy project. Once you have your ghost green screened and then you can just put the picture behind it, there's nothing to it. You can project it onto your window and have a frighteningly good Halloween time. Would you like to see a more detailed tutorial on how to do a green screen? It's really simple. And like I said, all the equipment is listed down below in the description. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I get to see you again next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you and I hope I get to see you again next time.